Do you like my new edition? So Wolves nil, Sheffield Wednesday nil. They ended the home campaign. Uh, a very dull, uh, non-event of a match, which I think was always possible today with two teams who had nothing to play for. But part of me thought that it'd be a little bit more open and Wolves would try to be expansive and entertaining. But I think we saw a team in Sheffield Wednesday who were eager to try and get themselves in a position ready for next season where they're ready to push on again. They've had some real misfortune with uh, injuries this season and I think they probably would have been pushing at the playoffs had they not have had those injuries but in any case Wolves didn't create enough chances again which has been the theme for the most of the season at home we've controlled the game and we've come away with a point which is annoying I think because before the game on paper we look a better team than Sheffield Wednesday and form suggested that we were better than Sheffield Wednesday and, and the league table and everything else but Nonetheless, nevertheless, it didn't really matter today. Um, and some of the scenes inside and outside the ground before and after the game were tremendous. And that's what we went to the ground for today. And the football was sort of a sideline. <laughs> and it will soon be forgotten because uh, fair play to the one man campaign uh, on Facebook who set up and originally. It was one person's idea, it came from a tweet and then it snowballed into that amazing uh, scene before the game when the players coming off the coach to, it must have been around about 10,000 people outside the Molyneux welcoming the team and there's pyros and all sorts of stuff like that, it looked magnificent. Uh, and then a really touching moment for me was the message from Carla Kimi on the big screen before the game and he looks a lot better than I thought he would be. Uh, although he's still not able to come to the game and stuff like that, it was, uh, he looked well and he looked like he's recovering well. So that's re it was really, really pleasing to see. And then after the game, of course, the trophy presentation, Bart and Cody lifting the trophy, Nuno running up and down the wing with the, uh, the trophy as well. It was a really good moment as well. Uh, and all the players, or the majority of the players at least, having uh, goalkeeper kits on with Akimi on the back as well was really, really, um, it was a touching moment. It made me feel quite emotional um, because a lot of these players haven't even played with Kyle Akimi. He's just another football player to them. And it's it was great. And uh, I went in, the, uh, went in the club shop and stuff beforehand as well and saw lots of the merchandise with the championship logo and stuff, stuff like that on. And Akimi's at the top of the list as well. And... It's, I think it's magnificent. I think um, the amount of money that Wolves have raised for cure leukemia this season has been tremendous. And hopefully, Carl Akimi will continue to make a, a magnificent recovery. And he's he's been on my mind a lot, I think, over the last couple of weeks because of players like him and Bart and Doherty and Cody who have been with us for a while now, who have, who have been on this journey with us. They are what our club is about, players like that. It was great as well to be recognised by so many of you uh, subscribers outside of the ground before the game. Uh, really nice things people were saying to me. So yeah, the next home game will be, of course, a Premier League fixture, barring, I think, a probable pre-season friendly against a Benfica or a Porto, which would be amazing. Um, but a Premier League fixture, uh, hope, I hope... I'm hoping that we were at home first, I think. I'd rather be at home than away first game of the season in the Premier League. Uh, get off to a good start against somebody small like a Huddersfield or a Watford or somebody like that. Get three points on the board early on and then we can go and play against the big boys. But yeah, Thank you all very much for watching today's video. There's going to be another video up later on with the, the scenes from before the game and after the game in a separate video. I hope you will tune in for that as well. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week for the preview and review of the Sunderland game before all the parade and all that sort of stuff uh, in the following week. Thank you very much. Goodbye.